Hello, my name is Bill Branch. I am a Dix, uh, docent here at the Dixon Gallery and Gardens, a Memphis art gallery and garden. Um, I hope that you have been out to the Dixon many times in your life. Hopefully you brought your friends, your family, and any visitors that come to town. Exhibits are always changing here. You may have not ever thought too much about the name Dixon, D-I-X-O-N. Well, currently there is an interactive exhibit on display that you need to come out and take a look at because you'll learn a little back, background about how this place got started and who started it. This museum, this art museum and garden was founded by a married couple, uh, long-term Mythians, who were very much into art collecting. Uh, they loved art and they were philanthropists and uh, did a lot of wonderful things in Memphis, Tennessee. Here they are. I want to introduce you to them. This is Hugo Dixon and this is Margaret Dixon, married couple. Um, they lived in the building, part of the building, which is currently Dixon Gallery and Gardens. Hugo Dixon, I want to tell you a little background information about him. He uh, is an Englishman. He was born in 1898, uh, lived in London, attended English schools. Later in his life, for his occupation, his grandfather had a cotton mill in England. And so Hugo becomes uh, involved with cotton production, cotton shipping, that kind of thing. Um, that is his connection to Memphis, Tennessee, actually, because some of the best cotton in the world was grown right here in this area of the United States, Memphis. It was, it was grown elsewhere, but it was all brought to Memphis to be graded and then exported a lot of times to England. So he's involved in the cotton industry. It's also a connection to his wife, Margaret Dixon, who is from Mississippi. Uh, she is from a family that's also involved in the cotton industry. Um, and there is a company that, that she, her family had called the McFadden Company. Um, Mr. Dixon is in England, like I said. Uh, World War I breaks out. He's actually working in the cotton industry in Germany. And when World War I comes along, him living in Germany, the Germans considered him being an Englishman uh, uh, not a good place to, uh, for him to be. They actually put him into a prisoner of war camp for a while in his life. He was there for a short time. Eventually, or one ends. Mr. Dixon goes back to uh, cotton industry. He continues to work there. He eventually uh, comes over to the United States. And in the 1920s, he's working in the cotton industry in Dallas, Texas, and in Houston, Texas for a, a company, like I mentioned, it was called the McFadden Company. Part of their production was in Memphis, Tennessee, and Mr. Dixon was in Memphis. He is introduced to Margaret Oates, who is from Vicksburg, Mississippi. Uh, she's actually in Memphis at the time, but the two meet and they marry in 1926. They live in Houston, Texas for about 10 years, Eventually, the job transfers him to Memphis, Tennessee. So they move up here, and they want to build themselves a home. They pick out a location, which today is Dixon Gallery and Gardens. It's on Park Avenue. They bought 17 acres. It was woodlands at that time. And they hired a famous um, Houston architect. His name is uh, Straub and he has built many famous residence homes. And so work begins on what was called their residence or their home in 1939. Uh, and then they, they have 17 acres, so they want all the land surrounding their beautiful new home to be um, landscaped. They, they leave the natural trees and things like that, but they also want to have beautiful gardens around their home. So Mr. Dixon, contacts his sister. She is a landscape architect. Her name is Hope Crutchfield. Uh, Hope and Hugo correspond in a long series of letters about how they will arrange the gardens around their new residence. 
both of these people are very interested in art. Uh, Hugo Dixon is on the board of what today is called the Brooks Museum in Memphis. Mrs. Dixon is, uh, helps found what later is called the Memphis College of Art in Memphis, Tennessee. Their hobby, what they like to collect, they begin to collect art. Of course, when you set up a new home, you want to have pictures on the wall. You want to decorate your home. And they um, got in touch with a lot of different galleries around the world. They did a lot of world traveling, saw a lot of art. And in, their, uh, in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s, they began to collect uh, French Impressionism. They start out with English art, but eventually they get led to French Impressionism. And they have a, an interesting and sizable collection when they first uh, live here in Memphis, Tennessee. They uh, have no children, so there are no heirs. So later in, the li in their life, they want to donate their home, their gardens, and their art collection to future generations in Memphis. And so they set up a foundation, which eventually becomes the Dixon Gallery and Gardens. I am standing by a part of Meet the Dixons, the interactive uh, exhibit here. Something that I wanted to show you that the creators of the, the, this exhibit have built is a miniature dollhouse version of what the Dixon residence actually looks like, if you could see into it. And let me step back and show you that the design of the home uh, was built in 1940, is called Neo-Georgian. It's an English design. In that day and time, it might have been called a mansion. Today, perhaps we wouldn't call it a mansion, but it was a two-story home, very comfortable for the Dixons to live in, and brick, and, and set in a beautiful location. Now, in the interactive exhibit here, one of the fun things for you to do, your kids to do, anyone who comes to see this, um, when the Dixons pass away, in 1974 and donate their property, uh, and it becomes a museum in 1976, their art collection consisted of 27 paintings, two works on paper, and I believe it was six sculptures that were out in the gardens. Um, the staff here has created wonderful, fun little magnets and while you're in this exhibit, you can see the rooms of the, of the house. Of course, the residents had a dining room and a living room. Upstairs are bedrooms. Uh, there was a library. And um, the 27 paintings that they collected, I mentioned earlier, primarily are French Impressionism, not all of them. But part of the collecting process that the Dixons had the, Dick, the paintings had to be approved. So a lot of times the Dixons would have a painting they were looking at, they'd have it shipped to their house, they'd hang it on the wall to see if it worked with the furniture and things like that. Behind me in this exhibit, you can see two examples of the original paintings that they purchased. You will notice that in a lot of these paintings, you will see the colors green and white. And the reason for that is Mrs. Dixon's favorite colors were green and white. And as they looked for a potential painting to add to their collection, those colors will show up. But what you can do, which is fun, these magnets, you can go to a room, you can get a painting, and just like at home, we decide where we want our art to hang, what room it would be in. You can come here and you can pick your painting and put it on the wall. So you can help the Dixons today decorate their home. Yeah. One other feature of Meet the Dixons exhibit has to do with uh, Mrs. Dixon's love of flowers, love of gardening. I mentioned that she was involved with the Memphis um, Garden Club. Um, always in their gardens, they had natural beauty out there, which include the trees, the azaleas, uh, and other forms that kind of form a forest, which is out in, in their uh, Great Lawn area. But there's a certain part of the, of the gardens called the Cutting Gardens, which when you tour the Dixon Gallery Gardens, you're welcome to go through. It changes all the time. You will never know what you will see blooming in the Cutting, gar cutting Gardens. 
Here at the Dixon, it has been a 45 year tradition, I, I am assuming, that members of the Memphis Garden Club go to the cutting gardens, I think twice a week, and they cut whatever's blooming out there, turn those into flower arrangements, which are then brought into what's called the Dixon Residence, which would be their entryway, hallway, their dining room, and their living room. So that when you, when you attend, when you visit this museum, you will always see fresh flowers. Um, the creators of this exhibit uh, have another little uh, interactive part here that I think is a lot of fun. A lot of people uh, might go to the store and buy a flower arrangement or you have a flower arrangement sent to you, but have you ever tried to arrange flowers yourself? It's so actually, there is an art to arranging flowers the way that you would put them into a vase. So the, the creators of this exhibit have gone and gotten silk flowers and they are here in the exhibit. And part of this exhibit, if you would like to do this, there is a glass vase. You can take these and put them in there. I just picked out roses, but in the background of most of the flower arrangements, you will see something green, which goes in there. And then possibly something of lighter green could go like this. And so just within a couple of things like that, I have made a flower arrangement, which could be taken and put in one of the rooms of the Dixon residence. It's a fun part of this exhibit. I hope that you will come out and do that. Do you collect something? I think most of us collect, uh, who knows what it might be. It could be anything. It's a fun thing. I've collected several different things in my lifetime. At one time I loved uh, porcelain teapots and that was what I collected. And so when you're out and about, you always start looking for whatever it is that you collect and you start buying it. And the next thing you know, you have a collection of things that are similar and you can display them in your home. Well, Hugo and Margaret Dixon were collectors. And as I have mentioned, one of the things that they collected was very, very nice art. And I, I, I am not talking about that they went to a store and got a print or something like that. Um, they collected original oil paintings, drawings, things like that. And so in the beginning, uh, Mr. Dixon is an Englishman. He was of course interested in English art and he collected some, a couple of pieces of very, very nice, famous English art by an artist called John Constable. Those, those paintings are still around here. This is in the 1940s and 50s. Um, they uh, relied on the advice of art collectors and at that time, French Impressionistic art was being sold in galleries and the prices uh, of that kind of thing were going up and up. They also were beautiful paintings and they were done by famous artists. So the Dixons, uh, like I said, in world travels and then in communication with art galleries began to collect French Impressionistic art. It's a wonderful thing because after they were gone, those particular paintings are still at this museum. They're not always out, but a lot of times when you visit here, you will see their um, paintings that they collected in their lifetime. Later on, uh, as the museum grew, um, more and more was added to collection. Uh, the Dixon today is still adding to its collection. So I mentioned that they started out with 27 paintings. Gosh, the, the, the collection today has, I, I don't know what you would call that, but it's tripled, it's quadrupled, and uh, some very, very um, famous art, beautiful art is in this museum's collection. In our, in our interactive exhibit here, we actually ask you, what do you collect? And you can tell us. We have little slips of paper, we have pencils, and we have all of these little cubby holes where while you are here attending the exhibit, write down what you collect, draw a picture of it if you want to, and then put it in the little cubby hole. And um, that way the folks here at Dixon uh, will see all kinds of what people collect. As you enter the exhibit, meet the Dixons, you will come across this display. And I want you to stop here and look because it's very interesting. It's kind of like a 
then and now. It's, an, it's a way that these photographs have been made and displayed for you to look and see what did that spot on the grounds or in the residence look like during the Dixon's time and what does it look like today. These photos uh, came from a large collection of photos that have been here at the Dixon uh, since the Dixon's time. Apparently, Mr. Dixon was an amateur photographer. He definitely liked to take pictures of his home, his beautiful new home, his gardens. That was also a way that he communicated with his sister, who was the landscape architect. She never came to Memphis to actually see what was going on in the gardens. So he would photograph part of the gardens, send her a letter, and she would write back with a letter of her own where she had made a drawing with a suggestion for Hugo, arrange this this way or set a sculpture here or something like that. So all of these wonderful photos that have been kept here at the Dixon are a record, a historical record of what these 17 acres looked at. So the way the creators of this exhibit um, made the photos is a process called lenticular printing. You may have seen this at some point in your lifetime. Uh, possibly the portrait of someone, maybe someone famous. Um, and when you are in the room where this is hanging on the wall, the eyes of that person may actually be moving sort of 3D and follow you across the room. It's the same process here. It is actually where two different photos are in the same area but they've been divided into tiny strips pasted together with plastic lenses that go one direction and another direction. So as I stand right here and look at this photo, when I am here, I see uh, the gardens, the way they look in Hugo and Margaret's time, and then when I moved here, I see the way the gardens look today. It's a very fun, interactive, entertaining way to learn some more history. This one especially up here shows uh, the Dixon residence, the front of it, to where it is in construction. This, the, the, the bricks are not there. You see the wood framing. Um, you see what today is in gallery, but in their day and time was Mr. Dixon's library. When you look at the photo this one, you'll see rows of books. There's also a funny looking, like probably 1950s television set sitting right there. Um, this is the entryway, the front door is here, and the um, you, you walk through a hallway which leads you through the house and takes you to the great lawn. So you see it in their day and time, and then you move. And today, that is an art gallery. That, that is where you will see art display. So, um, there are about 10 or 15 photos here. You'll, you'll, you'll get a glimpse. You'll be able to see in their day and time, which is in the 1950s, 40s, 60s, and you will see it today in 2021. I hope that you will come out to the Dixon Gallery and Gardens to see this interactive exhibit, Meet the Dixons, which is in the Education Center. Um, this exhibit is up through October the 3rd. This exhibit will also be a recurring exhibit. It will come back uh, in about a year's time. So if you miss it all together here, uh, don't fret. It's coming back again and it will have some additions and uh, new things in it. So thank you.